The corporate world is so saturated with thoughts on leadership, how to be an effective leader. Um, how do you differentiate your message amongst all of the all of the noise and all of the other messages about leadership? How do you how what's different about your approach? Great question. I think the big issue in corporate America today is this leadership versus management distinction and why it's so increasingly important. And the reason that I say that is because we don't realize how deeply entrenched we become as a corporate uh, community, a corporate society in management. Uh, management's process is taking complexity and making things the same. It's an amazing mechanism of actions and behaviors. Unfortunately, it doesn't move organizations forward and we're steeped in it to a factor of almost four to one. So we're overmanaged and underled. And so when I talk to, to senior leaders and they communicate and say things like, well, we need to control this instead of, well, the answer really is aligning. That's leadership. Controlling is management. Uh, we need to plan. Well, planning is management. And visioning is, is leadership. And so one is just defining the distinction first of how we have default settings of management. Uh, That's the way our brains are wired. And so we create a system that works for us. Um, we get things done, we get things done on time, we pay our bills, taxes, people, we get bonuses if we're salespeople or executives. The problem is in this faster moving world that we live in, and with the hierarchy that was created years ago that set up and created and perfected management, it's not a system that allows us to really succeed in a fast and uh, ever-changing world. So leadership does that. Leadership is vision and strategy. It's communicating vision and strategy. It's motivating action, getting by and removing barriers. Uh, taking complex systems, but yet creating evolution opportunities and growth. And so that distinction is the first point I make. And then allowing people to understand what allows us then to become and drive leadership. And I get into topics of true urgency and chasing big opportunities. And uh, so that's, that's where I go and that's um, where I've lived. And, and that's how I help organizations grow and move forward.